Hey guys, welcome back to Tony Zatus. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Google Password Manager. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering how do you start using a Google Password Manager here? Well, the first thing we need to do here is we need to determine where Google Password is actually available. So currently, Google Password Manager is only available for Google Chrome. Now, if you're using Google Chrome, then you could directly access them via these settings, maybe on your PC or in your mobile device. Now, the thing here is if you're using a different browser, you will not be able to use it. So that's the downside for Google Password Manager. But the great thing here is uh, this software or this feature is actually free for Google Chrome, which is very convenient, especially if you don't want to pay for anything. But compared to other services like uh, Nord or any other paid uh, type of password uh, managers well google password manager here is a bit on the beginner side so meaning they don't have that much of an advanced features that other softwares or other companies can actually offer you but if you're just getting started and just want to use a free offer a uh, free software for managing your passwords well google password manager here can actually help you so first things first, so for us to access or use google password manager on our pc we first need to open up google chrome here now, in Google Chrome, what we need to do is we need to go to our settings at the top right of your screen. Go ahead and click on the tree dotted icon. Now, from here, what we need to do is we need to look for the option that says password and autofill. Now, once you hover over it, you need to click on Google Password Manager. Now, in this case, in the Google Password Manager UI here, you have three options. You have passwords, we have checkup, we have settings. Yeah, passwords would actually contain, uh, again, our passwords and our login credentials. Now, if you choose check up here, this will actually check for any security risk regarding your passwords here. And if you choose settings here, you can change a few things. Like, for example, if you want to uh, have like Google password offer you uh, to save your passwords or if you're using Google Chrome here and you just log in, Google Chrome will actually offer you to save the password and they will be recorded in Google Password Manager. Now, you also have the sign in automatically, which in this case will actually, from the name itself, sign you automatically. You also have the setup on device encryption. So, this is an added feature or uh, added, added safety feature here. So, you can encrypt your passwords on your device before they're saved to your Google account. Now, you also have the option to import your password as well as exporting them. Now, if you want to add shortcuts, like for example, a quicker way of accessing Google Password, our Google Password Manager, you could just click on add shortcut and just click on install here. And that will actually install a shortcut on your PC. As you can see, it is now a separate window here. Now, again, you can still access them by the three dot icon here and going to password and autofill and going to Google Password. Now, in this case, if you want to add a new password, just click on the add at the top right here, just to indicate the website the username, the password, as well as the node. In this case, whenever you visit a specific website, like for example, Facebook, it will automatically edit or enter your credentials and your passwords for you. In this case, let's go and click on cancel. Now, if you want to edit your password, you can just click on the appropriate website that you want to edit, and you have the username, the password itself, and some notes on it. I also have the site here. Now, in this case, if you want to view your website, just click on the eye icon here or just click on the copy here just for you to uh, start using on that specific website. Now, if you want to choose the checkup feature here, you could go to checkup and that would actually check your passwords. So this case is going to say uh, no passwords were compromised. So in this case, uh, nobody actually is aware of your password yet. So in this case, they actually uh, gives you an idea like for example, you're using for you're using your password too much or you have four weak passwords. So it's going to, rec to recommend you to uh, basically change your passwords so that's not the same. Now, in this case, you have settings here. Like again, like what we just we've discussed before, uh, we have our different settings here. But at the very bottom, it's as you can see, you should be able to see decline sites and apps. Now, for example, if you've accidentally denied or not, didn't allow Google to save your password, you have the option to actually delete them from the decline sites app section. So next time you access the uh, specific website here or a specific website that you want to uh, visit, it's now going to still ask you if you still want to save your password. Now, in this case, that's how you use it on the PC itself. Now, in this case, let's go ahead over to the uh, mobile version. Now, we are now in our phone. Now, in this case, how do we access a Google Password Manager here? In this case, let's go ahead and open up Google Chrome here. And from here, let's go ahead and click on the tree dotted icon at the top right of your screen. Now, from here, choose Settings. 
and under settings look for password manager let's go ahead and click on it now, as you can see this is the default ui for google password manager and it also has the same ui for the desktop version now in this case you have password check up and settings at the bottom of your screen which are the same thing for what we saw before on our desktop this case you can check up you can again see if your passwords are compromised you can also see your password here so if you want to view your password go ahead and click on that specific uh, type of uh, website and from here let's go ahead and agree or authenticate ourselves now from here again if you want to see it just click on the eye icon if you want to copy it just click on the copy button there if you want to edit it just click on edit and if you want to delete it just click on edit delete now in this case, if you go to settings, again, you should be able to have the following options like offer to save passwords, auto sign in, and we also have the option here for password alerts. Now in this case, this is how you actually access the uh, Google password manager on your phone as well as on desktop. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.